What's up, guys? What's going on? Dank back again. And today, as you can see, we got the lovely ladies of the Machine Society Summit. It's coming up on January 31st. Super excited. Uh, I, I, I got to get in. I, I got to dive in and see what's going on with these ladies because, well, at least one of them's one of, one of the bays. Um, so we got Lolly, Retsu, and Riruka. Uh, Lolly looking pretty cute with her little, you know, exposed area retsu with hers and raruka looking like she's been a stomp on you as you cry out for more oh man man i love me some raruka damn all right so um i actually i'm kind of cheating a little bit because i just got halfway done through this video the first time and noticed that i didn't have any volume so it was pretty much just my dumbass talking and it was like really quiet so uh yeah that was a little bit of a mistake so i already know about raruka but I still haven't checked Retsu and Lolly yet. So we'll just go through Ruka really quick and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just get right into it. So this is super cool. I was not expecting them to do steampunk, uh, especially with Cacao Society still like leaving open like a little bit of room for more characters. But I mean, they could always bring it back later. It's not like set in stone that it's done or anything. Even though White Ichigo was defeated in the story and he was kind of the overlord of the whole, like, rebellious, like, evil society part. So, I mean, I, I think it might be done, but who knows, man. Caleb can always throw out some some, some other characters for, for those sweet, sweet dollar bills. But anyway, new characters from the steampunk world of the Machine Society are here. The jet-booted and, light, jet -booted and light footed Raruka Dokugamine. Uh, Ruruka is a melee normal attack character with the hollow killer ability. All of her attacks have a chance to inflict weaken, which combines excellently with her flurry, poise, and five second debilitator. She, also, she can also unlock the new increased technique link slot potion skill. Uh, this skill is only active during inheritance zones, but it increases the number of technique link slot potions she acquires by plus five, making her a very useful character for farming. So she is going to be the first the first uh, Link Slot Potion increasing character. So I don't know if this is going to be a trend. I think it's going to be, considering we still have four other attributes of Link Slots. So yeah, that's that's it's really it's cool because you know the more more Link Slots is or Link Slot Potions are always nice to have drop. You know, run, running a five x of Inheritance Zone and only getting like five potions out of each run is the worst feeling ever so having this guarantee you at least plus five only when you're running the uh, technique link slot or the technique inherited zone i think yeah because she's power okay yeah so since she's power you'll be running the uh, technique inherited zone all right so that's i mean that's pretty cool i don't know if the uh plus five will have like be doubled for the uh, 2x potions event whenever that's active but it could just be just a flat up with just plus five on top of whatever the base run gives you but we'll have to wait and see but that is really cool i mean ha her having flurry and poise with weaken uh she's gonna be a beast for farming uh just like autoing and shit but the downside is that she is yet another power hollow killer another power hollow killer Especially now that we just got Orihime, uh, Thousand Year Blood War Orihime, and wasn't there another red hollow killer that just came out a little bit ago? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's K Lab has a hard on for power hollow killers, and it's really killing our diversity. Like, where's the power of Ron Car killers, man? We need more of those. But anyway, I digress. She's going to be a pretty solid character. Definitely keep a lookout for her. I know I'm going to be going for her because Veruca is my waifu. She's Bay. Um, I still need to get a couple other of her versions. I think the Cacao Society from last year I need to get, and then uh, her original swimsuit version I still need to get. But that's enough about Veruca. Let's move on to I think Retsu's next. All right, all right, all right. Show me what you got, girl. All right, Retsu Unohana hiding secrets behind her enigmatic smile. Mm, very nice. Uh, Retsu is a ranged strong attack character, okay, uh, with a Soul Reaper killer ability, very good. Her normal attacks have a chance to inflict paralysis, and her strong attacks and special move all have a chance to inflict freeze. Huh, okay. Uh, combined with her Frenzy, 5 second debilitator, and Havoc, ooh, 
uh, makes her adept at immobilizing her enemies. She's also the first my oh she's mind okay, uh, first mind attribute character to come with a guard break. Okay, so this is now the fourth. Yeah, Tokunata, Oetsu, Tech Eisen, or uh, Furious Battle Eisen. Ferocious Battle? Yeah, Ferocious Battle Aizen. And now Retsu. Okay, so that's four guard breaks now. But she is a mind Soul Reaper killer with also being a Soul Reaper herself. I don't know if they're going to give her the captain tag, but she, she's definitely going to be a Soul Reaper affiliation Soul Reaper killer with Paralysis and Frenzy. Or uh, Paralysis and Freeze, which is a, a lot of good CC. Um, if you're looking for a good CC, uh, Freeze... And Paralysis are probably going to be your best bets. Uh, Weaken is really good as well, but like the actual stunning ability of Freeze and Paralysis make it a much, much more desired uh, status effect. Whereas uh, Weaken is just like a damage, like just a flat damage reduction. Um, and uh, Burn and Poison are only damage over time, so there's no crowd control in those. But it looks like Retsu is popping both of them, which is really cool. Uh, on top of that, she has Havoc, so she's going to have a lot of AoE on her skills. Plus, she's ranged, so she's going to be able to stay back even further from the enemies, keep blasting out those strong attacks, and deal massive damage. So that's tight. That, that's really cool. I don't know if I like her being mine, though. But, you know, what are you going to do? She, she, she looks great as a character. On paper, her stats look like she's going to be a beast for PvE. But, I mean... Who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to check out the uh, gameplay. Moving on to Lolly. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if Aruka is going to have damage reduction because of Flurry and Poise. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So back to Lolly. Uh, so Lolly is a ranged strong attack character. Okay, another ranged strong attack character uh, with no affiliation killer ability. Okay. Uh, all of her attacks with her giant cannon. Oh have a chance to inflict burn. Okay, so there's more damage over time, uh, which combines excellently with her frenzy guard. k -Lab. More guard break? You're killing me. You're killing me. With her frenzy, guard break, and two second debilitator skills. Okay, so she doesn't have the increased debilitator, which is fine. I would really only want increased debilitator if I had either stun or uh, paralysis or freeze just to keep that, um, that stun in longer. Uh, she also comes with the new decreased no affiliation damage taken skill, which reduces the damage she receives from no affiliation enemies. Okay. That's interesting. That's kind of like how uh, fourth anniversary Full Hollow Ichigo has reduced damage taken from captains. wonder if they're going to kind of go along the same route as this with, uh, with these characters going forward. They're going to have some kind of special skill, whether it be uh, guard break or you know something else and maybe even on top of a uh, specific decreased damage taken from a you know certain type of enemy uh, that'd be really cool man you know but, meh. but she does she does look pretty good as well a good solid pve character it doesn't say what her attribute is so i guess we'll find out shortly but frenzy guard break which is an incredibly good skill uh two second debilitator okay with burn so she's gonna be like a pure damage no crowd control kind of character so i mean hey right on plus not to mention uh she doesn't have any other five star version outside of her five star metal ex exchange character version which came out like at the least three years ago or like two and a half three years ago so she's definitely been due for for some kind of character despite it not being canon because you know it is like a seasonal event but, I mean, that's cool. That's definitely cool. Um, these new characters will be added to the Epic Raid Advantage list of the Erenji Abara Awakened Epic Raid and as well as characters for the uh, Machine Society Overture event, which is going to be the point event that comes along with it. Uh, of course, who cares about XP and cones? Because, yeah, well, <laughs> you get a lot of XP there. Uh, all right, so Inheritance is only increased. In okay, here we go. So this skill increases the number of Technique Link Slot potions that character acquires in Inheritance Zone. This skill is triggered when the character is included in a team. The effect of this skill stacks 
if multiple characters with the same skill are included in a team in both single player and co-op quests. Okay, so if you get a if you get a dupe of Veruca, you can then upgrade one to six star and then keep one as a five star, and you can essentially get plus ten potions per run. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, please note that the effect of this skill does not pass on to the base character when a character with this skill is used as a link. So what that means is if you were to link slot Raruka, or not even link slot, but just use Raruka as a link on, let's say, you know, any other character, um, that bonus to Inheritance Zone potion drops won't be affected. So you have to actually use her either like directly in your team of three, or you have to use her to actually play through the run with. So it kind of gives you an option whether you want to use a different character to run and just have her on the team, or you can use her as your runner for your team. Uh, the name of the above skill is not being displayed correctly on some power-up screens. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. All right, so let's look at the rates. Um, so step five will guarantee a five star. That's cool. I think that's that's pretty much going to be common going forward. Talking about uh, the new banners and stuff like that for uh, seasonals and like kind of big events, like whether it be end of month or whatnot. Uh, so step one's discounted at 6%. Okay, so at least it's 6%, which is good versus like the Chinese New Year stuff that they're doing, which is 3% and then goes up to six. But 6% 6 across the board is, is okay. It, it's all right. Um, but let's see the fillers. Let's show me the fillers, Caleb. Let's see. So 150, so two discounted, which is probably what I'll end up doing just the first two steps to see what's going on. And then... Um, uh, 250 up to six and then of course you got the singles which will be six percent across the way with 25 orbs a piece all right here we go stats <sighs> damn it man i really hate seeing power hollow killers not not only that not only is she a power hollow killer but she's also human affiliation so and she well i guess the only thing that's going to differentiate Ruka from Orihime is the fact that Ruka is melee and Orihime is ranged. So if there's some kind of special restriction on the map or on the on some kind of event um, where like it's like range resistance or melee resistance, that would kind of be the reason why you'd want to maybe pick up one or the other or both. Uh, but that's cool. Um, I mean, she's got 769 attack, which isn't, I don't believe that's the highest attack in the game. It is still pretty high though, but it's not the highest I think think I, I I kind of I feel like I want to check and see if she's even out at the moment I don't know if I'd be able to check let's see oh all right so she's on there she's on uh, BBS simulator let's see where she falls really so she has two less attack than uh, can't figure your own world nor Torah but she looks to be in about the top 10 of uh, characters with highest attack one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah so she's in the top 10 of uh, characters attack which is which is good I mean I'll take it um, but man I just wish she was a different attribute so killer hollow special heart pounding rabbit kick jumping kick combining magic and steam power that causes immense damage and inflicts weak she does have a damage okay she's got a dr link okay i know i just kind of skipped like a thousand beats on that but the fact that she has a dr link on top of flurry and poise why she got 30 per, or 20 percent bruiser 30 percent berserker damn this chick's gonna be good dude um, I wonder if she's going to be usable in uh, <clears throat> in PvP. The only thing that makes me think not is just her killer. Because uh, there's no hollows that are active in PvP at the moment outside of like random people that use uh, Speed Shinji and the the new uh, Hiori with, uh, with DR. I think she's got DR Flurry Poise. But I don't really see too many of those people uh, in upper seats. So, I don't know, I mean, is she, A, she's got the human affiliation, which nobody has a human killer except for um, Swimsuit Orihime and 
the just past soy foam that came out for Christmas. So she's safe. Uh, Ruruka is a very safe play. Um, the only downside is you have Ichibe and Chad, which will destroy her because it's Ichibe and Chad. You know, and they're, they're blue, she's red. He, they have the uh, attribute uh, advantage over her. But eh, I, don't, I don't know, man. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, we'll see. She's probably still going to be just a auto unit for PvE. But having a DR link isn't super bad. It's just a little bit, I don't want to say depressing, but it's like, man, she, she could have had like normal attack or recharge or something to be able to give her a little bit more of a uh, PVE boost, but she's already got flurry poise, so she's going to be pretty unstoppable as it is. But like I said, bruiser, berserker, debilitator, flurry poise, uh, devastation, sprinter, and the hopefully soon to be pretty commonplace link slot potion increasing so that's pretty good and then we got retsu my gosh she looks so cute 794 sp holy shit let's see that's still not super high i think i think yeah mugetsu has the highest at 802 um or is coming in at 798 right there again Let's see where so Retsu is tenth, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, she's like top ten for SP right now, so that's pretty good. Plus she's mine, so she's a neutral attribute. Soul Reaper Killer, always good for PvE. Uh, once activated, Mechazuki emits shining particles that cause immense damage and inflict freeze. Very good CC. Recharge, amazing. Love seeing that on special attack care or strong attack characters. Bruiser 20. Berserker 20, 40 Devastation, so she's just going to be a straight-up nuker. That's cool. That's cool. Sprinter plus 1, Havoc plus 20, so her AoE is going to be crazy on her strong attacks. Frenzy, Debilitator, and Guard Break. She is going to be a monster PvE character. Absolute monster, and she does have the Captain Tag. Okay. I was worried about that. Not worried, but I was I was wondering what, whether they're going to hit her with that or not, but that's cool. And then we have Lolly. She is Heart. Okay. So this is now the second heart no affiliation killer with Cacao Society Ruruka from last year being the first, I believe. Yeah. Oh no, this would be third since Mugetsu is also no affiliation and hollow killer. So Lolly is now the third no affiliation uh, heart character. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, 790 SP and that is probably a little bit further down. Wow, she's like top 20. So, yeah, she's not super high up on the SP, but she's still going to be really, really strong. Uh, giant Cannon, well, they misspelled Cannon, uh, that combines magic and steam power to cause immense damage and inflict burn. All right, so lots of lots of damage over time. More recharge, very good. Looks like the same Bruiser 20, Berserker 20, Frenzy, Devastation 40. The only thing looks like to be different is a Debilitator is just a normal Debilitator. It's not an increased, so it's just plus two seconds on the burn. Sprinter plus one, guard break, wait. Hold up. I I read that right. Right? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, so they both have guard break. For for a second that that could really confuse me. It's like, wait, I don't remember reading that she had guard break, but okay. Short-term memory, boys. Sorry. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. Lolly's going to be a crazy, crazy good uh, PvE character, especially now that we're starting to see more uh, Quincy enemies and just non-affiliation enemies when it comes to PvE content. So, it's still not ideal. I would still much rather have, like, a Roncar, um, Hollow, Soul Reaper, something other than no affiliation. But with that being said... She's still going to be really, 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 really good. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Fuck. This hurts. This hurts a lot. <laughs> so, uh, these are the past two years of Valentine's Day characters. Uh, 2018 or 2019 was uh, these three here with Ruka, Soyphone, and Momo. I have these two. This is 2018 with Nanao. Halibel and Yoruichi. I have all three. 
and then the, the premium fillers would be uh, Pass Yodoichi, Mind Nell, and the shitty Strong Attack Hiori. Tech Strong Attack Hiori. So, yeah, that really hurts. I am 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I am 8 out of 9 on the fillers. So that's going to be really rough. Really, 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 really rough for me. But, I actually, no, sorry, 7 out of 9 since I don't, I don't have this Raruka yet. So I'm only missing this Raruka and this Yodoichi. They're both fantastic characters. They're absolutely fantastic characters. Um, but Yodoichi has been on a whole lot of banners recently as a filler. And so I, I think mine Nell has as well. So I don't know, man. I don't know. That's that's rough. But what are you going to do? It's seasonal fillers. They're, they're definitely going to be there. But I'm just surprised that they're still keeping the ones from 2018 in there. I don't, know. I don't know how I feel about that, but oh well. So yeah, that's um that's the banner, at least the main one. Let's see, God, this video is already 21 minutes long. Holy shit! Let's see. Oh well, it might as well be a long video. I just want to check out the fillers on the other one. Okay, so believe Toshiro. I don't have that Lisa. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. All right, so Raruka, Lisa, Toshiro, Jushiro, and Chad. Uh, yeah, that hurts. The, these guys have been featured a lot recently. Uh, I think this is maybe the first or second banner where Lisa's been a filler. It, because I, I think she was in one of the, like the Chronicle selections or Senkaimon selections, but this is one of her very few banners that she's been a part of. She's a rather new character, but that's cool. Um. But that still hurts, man. But I'm two out of five on this one versus uh, five out of 14 on the original banner. Or five out of 12 on the original banner. I don't know, man. That really hurts. Wow. Okay, so the solo banners are 5%. Still, the first two steps are discounted. Okay. Singles will be 5%. All right, let's see Retsu's. Oof, that hurts too, man. That hurts too. What, who else is in there? Oh, that, that's that's a deadly banner here. So I'm four or five on this banner. I have Hachigen, I have Kenpachi, I have way too, I have a five of five Kensei and a five of five Uryu. So I do not need any of these characters in here except for Retsu. So I'm probably gonna skip that banner. And then the last one being Lolly. Speaking of the Hiyori. Ouch. I seen that Okaku or that Ikaku really hurts. Oh my god. Uh oh. Alright, so Ikaku, my Sajin is five of five. I think my Ikaku is like three of five. And then uh, Bondichigo, who's actually a really good unit. But damn, man. These fillers are rough. Rough. Oof. Man, that, that, that hurts. But damn. All right. So at, at least, you know, at least they got some, they got, I mean, they're good characters that are in the, the fillers, but they've just been used so much recently. That it, it's just like a slap in the face to, to people that have been pulling on these banners for months now. It's just like constantly rehashed fillers over and over and over again. But I got a little surprise for you guys. I don't know if it surprises <laughs> the login five-star ticket, but figured we'd do it and see what happens. Hopefully for something new. Uh, I'm not expecting much. I never do out of these five-star tickets just because I have a shit ton of characters as it is. And I probably know I'm not going to get a new one. But it's always nice to hope, so please, Caleb, please be something new. Please be something new. Oh, it's a five. Come on, Caleb. Fuck, that's soon, soon. Or no, uh, whatever face is Apache. Damn it. Wait. I don't think she's new. Yeah, damn. Had me for a second, bro. I was like, wait, wait, is she new? No. 
No, she's not. Damn. Well, like I said, I wasn't expecting too much because I already have a lot of these characters. But let's see what what's she at here. Where's she at? Wow, she's not even maxed out. Okay, she's only one of five. Damn. That's rough. Hmm. Hmm. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a long ass video. Damn, 25 minutes. All right, I'm going to end this. <laughs> um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, is, if more news comes out, I think more news will come out about the tickets probably tomorrow to see what's going on with those. I really hope they do a, a uh, choose a six or choose a five star version of the tickets just just because you know I, I have no problem spending money on the game but I don't like having my money spent and then like just get bullshit you know what I mean so if I have to pay a little bit more to get a character I I know is gonna be new and I know is gonna be worth well, not necessarily worth but um, worth buying the pack getting the orbs and then getting the character on top of that you know that's that's okay with me I have no problem spending money on this game but you got to make sure that your pay your pay to play is going to be worth it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, good luck on your summons. Hopefully, I think we'll probably do another video with uh, gameplay once it comes out. But that should be either tomorrow or uh, Thursday. And, yeah, banner drops on Friday. So we'll see what happens, man. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Later.